And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Now fuck off, will you? I'd love to say good night, but it was a shit night. Ben. Punk. <laughs> Useless. <laughs> I got myself a chewing. It's okay. I know that I have it in me to dig down and turn it out, but there's just a part of me that feels that failure is so deeply. I can't fail at this because this is all I have. You're still here, right? Damn. Chef's crazy. He's serious business. This is Hell's Kitchen. This is gritty. This is a dirty game right here. Punk. <laughs> I honestly think deep down that this chef's trying to test me to see if I do want to be a chef again and if I do want to commit myself to this. He's digging onto the personal level now. After a brutal night in the kitchen, all the aspiring chefs want is for this day to be over. Hey, you guys. But Chef Ramsay has other plans. If you think for one moment you're leaving that kitchen in that disgusting mess, no chance. Get downstairs and get the kitchen clean now. It sucks so bad. I'm just way too tired for that. Come on, guys, let's move our asses, please. It's nine. Let's get the fuck out of here. Well, I don't know. Let's make a decision. Seriously, stop wasting time. It's like, come on. I want to sleep at the end of the day. That's it. It's really not that hard. You know, these girls right now are just so just talking, 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 and for me just to stand there and, you know, make fake conversation with them is not really what I want to do. And now she just went upstairs. Did she really? Yeah, I think so. She swept. She didn't sweep. There was shit everywhere. Not one spot on that stove top was touched. She went back upstairs. She didn't even say she was going upstairs. She just walked out of the kitchen. To go and lay down in bed while we're still cleaning up that kitchen, that's laziness. Well, if you're tired, maybe you should go home. With the dawn of a new day comes another opportunity for Corey to win over her teammates. Right, good morning. Good morning, good morning Chef. Corey, yes, how chef. are you feeling this morning? Uh, I'm feeling like I'm ready to lead my team, Chef, and step up to the plate. Ladies, who is the strongest individual on the red team? Put the hand up. I think it's, I think it's Jennifer. Jen. 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 Oh, thanks, ladies. And why not Corey? They don't like me, Chef. That's not it. A small example of why it wouldn't be Corey is last night when we were all cleaning up the kitchen, we turned around and Corey was gone. They're threatened. That's their defense mechanism, is to bring me down and tattletale me. That right there shows me that they're intimidated. So, Jen's the strongest. Gentlemen. Yes, chef. Who's the strongest chef from the Blue Kitchen? Chef, I, I nominate Ben. I agree. I agree. I want to be strong, you know, I'm just going to fucking go for it and just see how far I can get. OK, let's be honest. Our first three dinner services in Hell's Kitchen has been a disaster. For me, an all-time low. Yes, yes, chef. That's why I've decided to change that. For the first time ever in Hell's Kitchen, we're opening for a special family night service. New menu, and we're open tonight. Damn, man, come on, give me a break. Follow me, let's go. One of the staples of our new family night menu will be pasta. And we all know by now, in Hell's Kitchen, we make everything fresh. That's what this challenge is all about. I'm not afraid to make pasta because I'm an Italian. Forget about it. Watch carefully before going through the machine. Soften it, manipulate it. After the dough is rolled, it must be carefully fed through the machine until it is the perfect thickness. Pasta aerobics, nice and strong. Lightly dust it with flour. Hands in the air, Bob. Finally, the pasta must be hung to prevent it from sticking or clumping. Let it hang. OK. That is your next challenge. Right. Whichever team gives me the most perfect pasta wins the challenge. Is that clear? Yes, yes chef. You've got 20 minutes from now. Go. Let's go. 
it's all strong, heavy guys over there. They got more muscle and more power. But I ain't never ran from a dude, and I ain't about to pick today to start running. Are y'all pushing through down there? What the women lack in physical strength, Jen is making up for in determination. Come on, Jimmy, come on! Let's go, we're rolling now. Come on, guys. We're rolling. We need to win bad. I'm going to individually get these guys pumped up. Pumped up. I'm going to jump on their back. Nice work. Nice work. Nice work. Watch what you're doing over here. It's got to go in fucking flat. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. You know, Matt didn't man up. Instead, he just he stood up there with his arms open, you know, waiting for the pasta. Flat, flat. flat. Matt, flat, flat. you may want to rest your arms for now, yeah? Come on, guys. Ladies, how y'all doing down there? Good. Zero one. Hold it. Come on, Jack. Yes, sir. Arms in the air. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. 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 I'll crack it, I'll crack it, I'll crack it. Zero, zero, zero. Spread it out. Oh, yeah. Jen, of course, wants to you know, shine and be in the spotlight. She wants to be a leader, but her way of leading is just to be loud. Come on, Lou Ross. Come on, Petroza. Come on. Make fun for Yeah, you got you. Okay. Let's go. 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 let us go Okay, bloody good effort. I've seen more energy in the last 20 minutes than I have on the last three services. Well done. Why are you ladies holding hands? She said her arms are tired. Let's start weighing it, shall we? Yes, 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 yes. Arm by arm. Here we go. The team that weighs in with the most pasta wins the challenge. Remember, my standards. There it is there. So that comes out. One thirty-nine. I was just like, oh hell no. You know that that's I was like, that's pretty low. It looks like the girls have a lot. Ladies, let's go. Good. That is beautiful. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. 266 against 139. Wait a minute, y'all. It ain't over yet. I'm like, wait a minute. Does Matt still got pasta all around his neck, a whole load of pasta around his arm, and Shayna just okay. had it on one side. Let's go. Gently, gently, gently. That is beautiful. With all that pasta, there's nothing stuck together. Gentlemen. 5.48. Sheesh. Ladies. Here we go. Careful, 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 careful. That's where I want to get inside there. Nice. Very nice. 482 against 548. You need just under three quarters of a pound to win. Here we go. Six fifty-seven. Against 548. Woo! Yes, thank you, God. Thank you. Ladies, well done. Fighting for that shot. Great effort. We were fighting, Chef. Gentlemen, you'll be busting your ass off now, prepping all day long all the new items on the menu ahead of tonight's service for both kitchens. Yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. This one hurt me. This one's painful and I'm pissed because it was just about muscle and strength. And I can't believe that we lost. Ladies, in true family style, 
You're all off to the Santa Monica Pier amusement park. Yes? Yeah. Oh, by the way, your Hummer limousine awaits you. Yes? Go and get changed yes, and get rid of that flower. Jen, good effort, my darling. Thank you, sir. Let's go. Oh, man, it was amazing to win that challenge today. It felt so good. I led our team to a victory. High five. High five. Oh, Craig. I hate losing another challenge, man. I hate losing. I'm pissed right now, dude. I'm not mad at the team. It's, it's directly pointed at Craig right now. Come on, man. It's fucking ridiculous. Every fucking bullshit is fucking ridiculous, man. He's not a team player, man. While the men are mad at Craig, the women are mad at... Ben! Uh, I'm really fucking sick of seeing spit cups on there. Ben chews tobacco, spits in bottles, and leaves them laying around the apartment. It's disgusting. Ben! I'm mad at you, Ben. For what did I do? Your spit cup is up there in the kitchen on the counter in the place where all of us eat. That's nasty, dude. OK, I'll go get it. The fuck? Please don't cry. Well, I don't leave tampons <laughs> on the sink. Please, So don't okay. leave your nasty-ass tobacco spit in the kitchen. Jesus Christ. My own kids won't even put a dish in the sink without washing them. And they're fucking 10 years old. Crying again, what a surprise. Living with these men is crazy. They are so sloppy. All right, please, somebody, please come in. I'm going to take the good right in your fucking bed. Make sure I don't see you, because you're going to move with your fucking stuff. Hey, you guys get in the fucking kitchen and get these fucking dishes out of here. I ain't fucking cleaning them up again. You touching my shit? I break at your face. <laughs> I'm not laughing, man. I don't think it's cute that you're a dirty sloth. Thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah, compliment. I hope your wife appreciates it. I don't know Thank how you. Puts up with your I don't know how your husband puts up with your fucking mouth. I'm watching you, you know what I'm saying? All right, guys. While the men get called down to start their punishment, prep time, the women get ready to go on their reward. I know these girls talked about me and whatever. You know, it's fine. I can still go have a good time. I'm here in California. I'm going to enjoy it. I've never been in a limo, period, much less in a Hummer limo. I've, I don't think I've even ever seen one. You Lord have crazy. mercy. They don't have a whole lot of that floating around in Montana. Ladies. Put up, shut up, Todd. Hey. We have a ride. All of us want to toss Corey off the Ferris wheel, but just to see the outside world yeah. is just such a blessing to give us time to refocus. Oh, it's great. Hell yeah, we're free at last, free at last. Ben, 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 This is all my reserve right here. All my reserve energy is going. Yeah, to this was it right here. And we still got right now. I'm exhausted. We needed a day so bad to rest. It's gonna be a long one, buddy. Oh man. So listen, when we get back, we are gonna have high energy and we are gonna show them boys that they missed out on a real good time. Hell yeah. Hope the Ferris wheel fucking collapses. I hope the roller coaster gets malfunctioning and you just stay there, <laughs> stay upside down and all that cellulite in Corey's ass goes up for rain. OK, I need one volunteer to help me with something. I'll do it, Chef. All right, come on, Ben. Let's do it. So since it's family night out here, Ben, we have some certain things to amuse some of the children that are coming tonight. As you can see, it stinks already. Oh, my god. Right when I walked outside the door, I knew what I was going to have to do. First thing you got to do is clean up all this shit. Fucking stinks out here. Yes, sir. OK? This is what happens when you don't win challenges, Ben. I came to cook, and I'm out shoveling horse shit today. Now, how am I supposed to stand up and say, yeah, I'm the best one on the team? Oh! Oh! <laughs> look, look, look. There's Ben shoveling poop. Easy. Basically, the winners came back, and it's just embarrassing that, you know, you're shoveling shit. In less than an hour, Hell's Kitchen will open for its first ever family night. 
and diners are already outside working up an appetite. After spending a relaxing day at the pier, the women are now rushing to get up to speed on tonight's menu. There were only four apps, right? This win is going to be hard because not only do we have to do it fast, five, we also have to do it on a menu that we just learned a half an hour ago. Don't get ourselves in a mind frame of being scared. We got this. They were seriously worried about this, but it's burgers and pasta, onion rings. If we can't do this, I don't know what the hell we can do. Come on, we're ready, we're happy, we're happy, we're happy, we're happy. While Jen tries to pump up the red team, the blue team is rallying around. Craig, focus, man. This is your night, Al. This is you tonight, baby, all right? This is you. Don't afraid to ask for help, man. No one's a hero. Shh. I'm working the pasta station. Pasta's easy to cook. I mean, it's, it's, it's not rocket scientists to make pasta. They know what I'm doing. So shut the fuck up. Focus tonight, OK? Gentlemen, hey. Egghead, Craig, that's you, yeah. Let's go. Come on, guys, please. Yes? Moments from now, we're opening Hell's Kitchen, yes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And boy, oh boy, do we need this one, yes? Yes, sir. I'm not asking for a perfect service. I'm telling you we're going to get a perfect service. Is that clear? Yes, sir. As an added incentive, not that you need it, the first kitchen, blue or red, to complete a full service is the winning team this evening. It's in your hands now. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Move. OK, JP. Come here, please, yes? Sure. Open House Kitchen. Now, come here, you. Come here, one more thing. Yes, it's a family service. Take your tie off and relax a little bit. Open your shirt. I feel more comfortable, Shane. No, I'm not, I'm, I'm not fucking around. Give me the tie. Now. Yes. You're like a fucking stiff. Walk straight, you donut. For Hell's Kitchen's first family night, Chef Ramsay has customized the menu to include fresh pasta, barbecued chicken wings, and hamburgers. Can I get the potato chicken? Spaghetti with white sauce and clam? Macaroni and cheese. What kind of cookies are these? OK, Jean-Philippe, we should need some orders, yeah? We should. Yeah, move. OK, here we go. Ladies off first. Double 54, one onion ring, one potato skin, one chowder. Yes, yes, yes chef. chef! Thank you, Chef. Potato, potato takes five minutes. Five minutes. More than anything, I need this win. Last night, I screwed up bad. But a new day, a new service is a new chance to prove that I can cook. Start in corn fritter. On order, four covers, table three. One chowder, one potato skin, one chicken wings, one onion rings. Yes, yes chef. chef! Ben, move. Blue team's going to be the first to finish. I'm sick of fucking losing. Got this, babe. Yeah, this is ours. Tonight, the guys have to win. Guys, we got this. While the blue team works on their first ticket, over in the red kitchen, Vanessa is hoping to impress Chef Ramsay with her appetizers. How long? Onion rings, potato skins, chowder. Come on. Come into the window right now. Plating it now, yes? Yes, chef. Let's go, ladies, please. Let's go. Get it together, ladies. Think strong. Very good. Nice. Vanessa, the soup's lovely. Good girl. Come on. Service, please. Piss off. Let's go. This is called momentum, yeah? When we got the momentum going, we never stop. Yes, chef. Good. Gentlemen, ladies are going with their first ticket. Move, yes? Yes, chef. How many minutes on your chicken? One minute. Make sure those chicken are fucking cooked, huh? You serve me raw chicken to a child, yeah? Chicken, I'll pickle chef. your balls. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go. Where's the three onion rings? Have you seasoned them? Yes, sir. Hey, come here, you. Come here, look. It's not even coated. I want a crispy onion ring. Fuck off you, yeah? Oh, it was limp. Horrible. You hit it underneath, yes? When he's screaming at you, you can't, you can't do anything else but focus on him. And you're just, like, sunk into his eyes. Don't stare at me. Get on it straight away. Hurry up. Do it. Snap to it. It's not fucking difficult, is it? Service, please. 45 minutes into dinner service, blue diners are receiving their appetizers. The onion rings are good. I like them. The onion rings are getting positive reviews. Look at it. Oh. The chicken, however. Oh, no. Oh, no. The raw 
raw chicken? Yeah, raw chicken. Oh, chef. fucking hell. Gentlemen! Raw chicken! Matt! Pink and bloody! Come here, you fucking prick. Yes, chef. What the fuck are you doing? Yes, chef. Sorry, chef. Won't happen again. Oh, my God. That's... Pretty major. I mean, if a kid is biting into a chicken wing that's raw, that's just fucking nasty. It's a tartare again with you, isn't it? What is it? I call it exotic tartare. <coughs> that's what it is, isn't it? No, it's that's not, That's you can do, isn't no, it? No, it's not, Chef. Yeah. It was this close to his face, and I didn't even blink at him. Yeah. I could do a lot, You can chef. manage to fuck up raw food. No, I can't, Chef. Wake up! Yes, Chef! I'm not going to break. I'm not here to break. He's not going to break me as a person. Donkey. While Matt has choked on the chicken dish, thanks to Vanessa, the red team has served over half their appetizers. Two spaghetti's coming to the window. And has moved on to entrees. Oh, no, don't, don't. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck me. Shayna's on fire. Hey, but don't burn the fucking kitchen down, yes? I want it. Chef, can somebody give me some ice and some burnt cream, please? You burn a hand, Chef. She needs some ice. I looked in her hand and it was blazing red. The skin's coming off. <laughs> then I seen that she was going to start to break down and cry. Three minutes on that, Chef. Holy shit. I just, I burned myself. There was oil in a saute pan, and when I picked it up, it poured all over my hand. Oh, that's starting to fucking hurt. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Are you helping? No. All right, come with me. What happened to Vanessa, guys? She's gone for a few minutes, and she's not coming back. She's not coming back. And I'm just thinking, oh, shit, what the hell's going on out there? Uh, 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 uh. Let's go, ladies, let's go. Yes, Chef. You want man down. She's on the way to hospital now, okay? If you start slacking now, you're in trouble. Get a grip, yes? Yes, yes Chef. Chef. Things could be very scary for the red team without Vanessa right now. Okay, concentrate. Don't start crying. She's gone, okay? Roseanne. Yes, Chef. Don't start panicking. Just get a grip now. Okay, Chef. Burger's going to the window. Thank you. Here. Down one, ladies. We're still going to do this service. Two hours into dinner service, the red kitchen has 12 tickets left, and the blue kitchen has 10. Let's go. Two crab cakes, where are they? Crab cakes right here. Put them up. The first team to complete all their tickets will win tonight's dinner service. Very nice, Petroza. Service, please. <laughs> Food is now flying out of both kitchens. Service, please. <laughs> and it's so good, the customers don't want to miss a drop. Why is the fucking burger so small? Hey, you, Matt! Yes, Chef? Come here with those burgers. Why are we cooking the burgers off so early on? They're like ice hockey pucks. Catch. Catch, catch, there you go. Look, look, hey, there you go, up, up. Are we a fast food joint now? No, no Chef! And you're standing here with your little balls of fucking, look at them. Fucking sick! Bobby? Yes, Chef. Can someone get a grip in here? Can we not cook your burger to order? Yes, Chef. Then do it! Correct the problem, Chef. Put some burgers on. Put about five burgers on. Put your head down and cook! With Bobby taking over in the blue kitchen, Chef Ramsay looks for a leader in the red kitchen. Who's counting down the entrees? Me, Chef. Shayna, you do one meatball and one clam. One crab for you, OK? One crab. How long? We lost Vanessa, and I just kept it strong. Come on, ladies. I don't want none of us going home tonight. We got to do this. I didn't even give it a chance to fall. Ain't no stopping us now, ladies. How long, Jen? In the window now, Chef. Thank you. Good girl. Service, please. Play the tickets, y'all. We got it. As Jen leads the women towards the finish line, Chef Ramsey is hoping someone on the blue team will emerge as a leader. Let's go, Bobby. Coming through. Spotless, Chef. Gold star. Go, please. Go. Let's go, gentlemen. Come on, we can do it. This is what we've been talking about. No big Ben. What's up? I can't break you, baby. Not tonight. Not tonight. Not tonight. Ben, I can see from here. 
That is all one big fucking jolly. I was just telling Bobby, hey, man, good job, you know? Wasting my fucking time, effort, and fucking money. OK, what's the joke? We were just congratulating each other because we're, we're getting the food out. That's all we were doing. One, two, three, four, five, six tables on trace to go. They've got two tables to go. So if I was you, I'd dig deep, touch your balls, and wake up. The girls are almost done. Let's pick up the pace. Let's go. Push, push, push. Let's two go, tables, man. ladies. Fuck Let's go. Fuck, Fuck me. Hold it together, Shana. This is it. Two more tables. This is it, y'all. The guys got a whole fucking list over there. Let's go. While the women race to get out their final tickets, in the blue kitchen, Craig is eager to make up the difference and show Chef Ramsay that he can handle the pressure. Where's that spaghetti? That's spaghetti and fucking clams, no? Hey, Craig, four macaroni, one burger, one spaghetti of clams, and you give me meatballs. One's called a fucking meatball, and one's called a clam. Spaghetti is clam, meatball is meatball. Where's the spaghetti of clams? Right here, Chef. Roar. Roar. Don't worry about it. Start over fast. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. So how long? Oh, I got it, I got it. Is mine? He doesn't even answer you, look. He doesn't even give you an answer. Yeah. Craig, get oh, to the chef already! Minutes! While the men wait two minutes for Craig's spaghetti, the women see the end is in sight. Last table, ladies. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Two crab cakes, two meatballs. Wake up, get a grip, move! Let's go, ladies, let's go! Yeah. 30 more seconds on my plan. We'll be done. All right, ladies, come on. Let's go. Let's finish our first service. Let's go, ladies. Very good. Go, please. 42. Come here, come here, come here. Well done. Yes! We won. I just wanted to start dancing, going crazy, because I'm just, oh, God, it felt so good to win. Get in there and help them. Move. Come on, girls. There you go, fellas. Girls, How about that? What can I do for you? Anything you got Yeah! What do you guys need? What y'all need? Jen, stand next to Chef Ben. Yes? All right. Cook with him. The thing for me, you know, it's just embarrassing that Chef called him in to come help. Look at the current situation. And go around and slap yourselves on the back now, then. I thought we were close, yeah. Chef, but I was wrong. You're fucking close. I was close. wrong. Let's give a big round of applause to the captain hitting an iceberg on the fucking Titanic. Shayna. Yes, Chef? Stick next to Craig. What do you need me to do? I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. What do you need? What do you need? Tell me what you need. I got it. Don't tell me you got it. What do you need? Chill. Take the help, even if it's from a girl. Let's just push out the plate. Let's just do it and just end the day. And right now, one crab cake, one meatballs, one clams, one Caesar. How long? How long for the fucking clam? Hey, you're burning. You're burning. He's not even giving me an answer. Come on, answer him, please. It's making me feel fucking nervous. <laughs> Fuck. Hello. Let's go. Come on, Craig. 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 Class is ready. Come on. How long for the fucking clam? Coming up right now! Fucking listen! Oh my fucking god. Go, please. Okay, ladies. Yes, did sir. complete a dinner service. Started off slow, we got in the weeds, but you bounced back. And throughout that determination, out comes a star. Jen, thank you. Thank you, Chef. Honestly, the best cook in both kitchens. There was one star. And when I heard him say, Jen, man, my heart just melted. It really did. Gentlemen. Yeah, Chef. If Family Night in Hell's Kitchen was a movie, tonight was a horror film. The dinner service massacre. It was embarrassing. You don't need me to tell you you lost. Craig, we couldn't even cook pasta. Was it that difficult? No, Chef. Ben, what you've done and the, the ambitions, you do seriously surprise me. Thank you, Chef. I, I was hoping you'd see that. I mean, I'd give it all I got. Give you 110. You surprise me to how shit you are. Uh, Thank you. I was expecting more. Hey, maybe you shouldn't have quit your fucking day job so early. 
OK. The best of the worst. Bobby, you make me feel safe in a kitchen. Bobby? Yes, chef. Can someone get a grip in here? We correct the problem, chef. So if that trust is there, don't break it. Yes, chef. Get back to the dorms. Think of two individuals to nominate for elimination. Yes, chef. And let's be honest, you're not short of choices. Nominate well, Bobby. When we first came into Hell's Kitchen, you know, I got off to a rough start, but tonight I was the best. Oh, what's going on? Oh, the tables are turning a little bit now. He, he hates me. What did I do to him? I'm gonna go see a plastic surgeon on Monday. Why? Are you serious? <laughs> right now, I don't know what's gonna happen. You know, right now I can't even move my hand. But the girls banged it out and they finished their service, and that's badass. Needless to say, Lou's going up for elimination today. Everybody has a fucking ego. The pasta thing, we were all working as a team. We just didn't get it done. It's, there's nobody to blame but everybody. I know right now that I didn't perform up to my standards, but then again, did Matt? Did Ben? You want to talk? Let's go talk for a minute. If I'm put up for elimination, I'm put up for elimination. I'm not going to go chasing after him. I'm not anybody's fucking pet dog. Just you and him or me and we're all? No, just me and Bobby. Fuck everybody. I don't, I don't need anybody's bullshit. You know, I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know what Bobby's going to do. I really don't. I, mean, I'm, I don't know if I just want to go just for the mere fact that Chef hates me, you know? <laughs> ben, he's having a couple bad services. You know, he always seems to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. I just think I'm sitting on a clothesline, ready to get wrung out. Me and Bobby are pretty tight, but, you know, friends doesn't mean shit. This is a competition, and as far as I can see here, everybody's out to get everybody. Ben, yeah, have a seat. You know I gotta nominate two. Yeah, I know. Who do you think I should nominate? Craig. He don't communicate with the chef. Dude, he threw shit right in front of the chef. That's disrespect in the man's yeah. kitchen. I had a bad service, but Craig is hopeless. He needs to go next. It, he's, he's a pain in the fucking ass. Bobby, have you made your decision? Yes, Chef. First nominee and why, please? Um, I nominate Craig. Craig. He's like a broken compass in the kitchen. Whatever station he's at, he's pretty much lost. Second nominee and why? My second nominee is... Matthew. Matt. He's a little nervous when he's working the station. And we're like too far along to be nervous about what you're doing here now. OK. Matt, Craig, step forward, please. Honestly, I don't want to go any further right now. There's one more person standing behind you I need to hear from. And he knows who he is. And without even mentioning his name, I'd appreciate if he steps forward. Ben. Sir? I'm really seriously disappointed with you. I know you are, Chef. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? You know, this is the only thing that God has given me, a talent in my life. And I'm not going to stop. This isn't going to get me down. It's only going to make me work harder. I'd be fucking embarrassed if I was in your shoes. Craig, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I honestly could say I didn't have a good service tonight. But I had the drive, the determination, the motivation to do better next time. Craig, tonight was the easiest menu ever in Hell's Kitchen. You were cooking pasta. I'm greatly embarrassed. Matt, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, I changed since I've been here. And I want to prove myself to you, Chef. You served raw chicken to youngsters. I feel ashamed and embarrassed that it even went out to begin with. 
All three of you should walk through that door. I'm just going to keep giving you 100%, Chef, every day. I'll give you 125%, Chef. I don't know percentages, but just over that. OK. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. So how long? Two minutes! I can't break you, baby. Not tonight. Look at the current situation. Mm -hmm. Go around and slap yourselves on the back now, then, you prick. Raw chicken! Pink and bloody! Wake up! The person leaving Hell's Kitchen. It's Craig. Take your jacket off. And leave Hell's Kitchen. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for giving me one big fucking headache. My dream when I came to Hell's Kitchen was to get my own restaurant. I didn't do the job I was supposed to. I had a lot more to prove. I'm like, like stunned and amazed, like that this, this sucks. Ben, Matt, you both dodged that bullet, and I'm chasing your fucking asses big time. Now I'm starting to question myself. Ooh. He, don't, he, he just doesn't like me, but um, I'm not ready to go home. I got a lot left in me. I got a lot left to prove. You two are barely here. My heart was racing so fast, I thought it was going to jump out of my chest. And I never want to be on the chopping block again. Get both your acts together. Vanessa. Yes, Chef. Welcome back. Thank you, Chef. Jen, don't stop. It feels so good to get complimented by Chef Ramsay. Told you, America, I had it in me. This is the new gen, and it's time for me to shine. I can teach someone how to cook, but Craig was a bad cook with an even worse attitude. There was no hope for him.